Are you looking to add tracking capabilities to your design projects? Join Sam Siegel and I in this episode of Tech Ventures with Lazina to explore the GNSS module functionality on the companion board along with Scripter Cloud capability. Hi, welcome back to Tech Ventures. My name is Lazina and I'm the technical marketing engineer at Future Electronics. In our last episode, I covered the companion board. If you're interested in checking out that video, then please click the link on the screen or check out the description box below. Today, I'm not going to be talking about any sensors, but I wanted to talk about a wireless radio for a change, the GNSS module on the companion board, which was created and designed by our very own engineering team. Not only can GNSS modules help you navigate your way around town, but they can also help with monitoring and tracking anything from as large as your cargo shipping container to something as small as your furry friends. For those of you who know Future Electronics, my location isn't exactly a mystery. And although I'm working from the office today, most of my friends are still working from home due to the COVID-19 pandemic. And today I wanna to check in on a very good friend of mine, Sam Siegel, who is the Future Connectivity Solutions Wireless Specialist. Hey Sam, nice to see you, how are you? Hey Lizina, I'm doing well, how about you? I'm doing great, I can see that you have your companion board out. I do, yeah, uh, it's a pretty quick and easy way to evaluate a bunch of cool different sensors. Um, and with the STM32 cube uh, environment, I can dive into the code base and see how it all works. Yes, absolutely, and what kind of applications do you think the companion board is good for? Uh, well, you know, it's a great starting point for any asset tracking or environmental monitoring design. Uh, you know, but with all the different sensors and connectivity options on board, uh, the sky wires the limit. <laughs> yes, you are correct. Um, speaking of wireless radios and sensors, did you know that there's a GNSS module on board, the Tessio Lift 3F? Yeah, that little guy there. Uh, yeah, it's a cool part. I'm a big fan. Oh yeah, and what do you like about it? Uh, well, it's got sort of a de facto industry standard footprint, so it's a good second source for a lot of designs. Uh, it's pretty cost competitive for the features on board. Um, and you know, one of those features, there's a bunch of flash on board. So it can be used for data logging, or uh, you, know, you can store up to a week's worth of autonomous uh, assistance data on board. Fantastic, I can see why you're a big fan. Those are important qualities for a GNSS module. Definitely. Yeah, um, so it's been a really long time since we've seen each other. Where are you? Do you think we could hang out? Uh, I mean, that's going to be tough right now with the pandemic and all, uh, but I can turn on my companion board and share my location with you. Well, it's not quite exactly the same thing, uh, but you know what? I'll take it. Did you know that there are two ways to read the GNSS values off the companion board? It's, well, I know of one for sure. And which is? Uh, well, if I open up my terminal program, uh, I can just use the GPS read command, and there you go. Uh, my coordinates are on screen. I can see the numbers, but unfortunately it's kind of meaningless to me as I don't know cartography. Uh, yeah, okay, I can see how that might be a little annoying. Uh, you mentioned there's a second way to share my location with you? Yes, through Scripter. Uh, Scripter gives us the opportunity to check in on our assets from anywhere and anytime. So I have my Scripter dashboard open in the background, and if I go into my device directory, I can create a token that's unique to you, and this way I'll know that it's, that it's you. So it's pretty easy to create. I'm just going to fill in um, the ID field and give you a name. So I'm going to pick Sam Wynn Companion. I'm going to leave this blank. And it's as simple as that. And now uh, Scripter has generated a token that's unique. So I'm going to copy the token over here and share it with you in the chat. Okay, yeah, so I got the token. Um, I've already got my device connected to Scripter. Uh, I followed your Tech Venture video one uh, to do that. And then just the step where we do Scripter token right, uh, I think I just entered the token you shared. Correct. And then <clears throat> the Wi-Fi script or post should show up on your dashboard. Yeah, a device has shown up on my dashboard and it looks like it's in Seattle. Yeah. Is that correct? I'm just a little north of there. And I can see that you're right by the water. Mm -hmm. 
Um, temperature is looking great. Is it like 26 degrees? Uh, yeah, well, we call that 78 degrees, but yeah, it's comfy. <laughs> well, I know where my next destination will be once the pandemic is over. Oh, well, you're welcome to stop by any time, uh, except for right now. I've got a meeting that i got to get to. So. All right, nice seeing you, Sam. Nice Take seeing care. you. Yeah, have a good one. If you want to learn more about the Companio Board or ST Microelectronics' GNSS modules, then please contact your local Future Electronics representative or visit us at futureelectronics.com. Let me know what you'd like to learn about next. Leave me a comment below. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next episode of Tech Ventures with Lizina.